analysis for 6th and 7th of February 2024. Now, let us start with the today's agenda of the day where we'll be speaking on the editorial section which is related to Uttarakhand Civil Code, the key changes for Hindus and Muslim in marriage inheritance. This particular editorial, we are talking from the Indian Express. Then we'll be discussing about some news update. And lastly, the legal news update of the day. Now, starting with the Uttarakhand Civil Code, the key changes for Hindus and Muslim in marriage. The context behind this editorial is, the Uttarakhand government tabled the Uniform Civil Code 2024 bill in the Assembly on Tuesday. It makes important changes in areas such as marriage, divorce and succession. Now, what changes for Muslim after Uttarakhand Civil Code? Let us first discuss that. Okay. First, the proposed UCC brings the minimum age of marriage to 18 and 21 for Muslim women and men in line with Hindu Marriage Act and Special Marriage Act. Now, this particular issue has been debated in courts since Muslim law allows puberty that is presumed 13 years as the age of marriage for girls. Since POCSO, that is Prevention of Children from Sexual Harassment Act, criminalized sexual activity between minors and Prevention of children, Child Marriage Act prohibited marriage between minors, the Muslim age of marriage was at odds with this particular laws. In December 2022, the National Commission for Women challenged in the Supreme Court the practice for allowing the minors to get married. The case is pending before the Honorable Supreme Court bench. Now, when it comes to succession, the nature of testimony succession and interstate succession for Muslim will change drastically. Currently, Muslims may bequeath up to one third of their property to anyone of their choosing through a will. The remaining property, entire property when there is no will, must be then divided in the manner provided in Quran and Hadith. This would ensure that the legal heirs are not entirely dispossessed. However, under the proposed UCC, in situations where the deceased person does leave a will behind, there is no restriction on how much of their property they can be quit and to whom. The UCC draws heavily upon the Indian Succession Act 1925, retaining a majority of the provisions. In the case of interstate succession, the property will pass on to class 1 heir who include the children, the widow and the parents among the long list of others. Now, the practices of bigamy or polygamy are outlawed in the UCC bill. This is done by placing a condition for marriage under section 4 of the bill that neither party can have a living spouse at the time of their marriage. The proposed code also criminalizes certain Muslim marriage practices such as Iddat and Nikah Halala without explicitly naming them. Section 30 deals with the right of person to remarry following the divorce. Now, here UCC provides the right can be excised without any other condition such as marrying a third person before such marriage. This is a reference to the practice of Halala under Muslim personal law. Now, when it comes to punishment, Section 32 then provides a punishment for anyone who compels, abates or induces someone to meet such condition and who gets convicted shall be punished with imprisonment of three years and is also liable to fine for rupees one lakh. Now, this is something which we talked about Muslims. Now, let us come to the changes for Hindus after Uttarakhand CC, that is civil code. So the key changes of Hindus under the proposed UCC involves succession. First, UCC takes away the distinction under Hindu law between ancestral and self-acquired property. co personary rights under Hindu Succession Act do not find mention in the UCC bill. Now, in a joint Hindu family governed by Mitakshara School of Law, a son-daughter, grandson-granddaughter, great-grandson, great-granddaughter are deemed joint owners of the property from the time of their birth. Each of them is a co partner Practically, what this means is that the father cannot sell or will away the joint family property on his own accord if his descendants are alive. The other key change is the elevation of both parents, father and father, as class 1 heir in case of interstate succession. 
Currently, under the Hindu law, the class one heir legal heirs who will simultaneously inherit the property include the children, the widow, the mother, and the other lineal descendants of a deceased man. If no class one heir exists, then class two heirs are considered where the father is included. Now, class one heirs both include the children, widow, and both mother and father. The concept, in fact, found in Shariat law, Hindu law does not include siblings as legal heirs. But inclusion of both parents could mean that the person property could travel to his siblings through his parents, cutting the share of his children and widow. Now, that is all about the Uttarakhand Civil Court making a relevant important changes in the ma in Muslims and Hindus. Majorly, the marriage changes are in Muslims and in the succession changes are in Hindus law. Now, let us start with the some interesting national news of the day. Vinesh clinches 55 kg category gold in national wrestling. Asian Games gold medalist Vinesh Pogat clinched the 55 kg gold medal in the Senior National Wrestling Championship being organized by IOA Constituted Ad Hoc Committee. Now, Vinesh, representing Railway Sports Promotion Board, had won the 2018 Jakarta Asian Games gold in 15 kg category as well. Shri Pawan Kumar assumes charge of Chief Advisor, Cost in Department of Expenditure, Ministry of Finance. Consequent, upon the approval of Appointment Committee of Cabinet, Shri Pawan Kumar has assumed the charge of Chief Advisor, Department of Expenditure, Ministry of Finance. Now, Shri Kumar is a qualified cost accountant and possesses a diverse work experience in various capacity at different ministries, departments, autonomous body like Tariff Commission, Delhi Development Authority, Director General of Trade Remedies, Department of Economic Affairs, and Department of Public Enterprises. Now, let us come to the na again national news. Don't use children in election campaign. EC directs political party ahead of 2024 Lok Sabha polls. So ahead of 2024 Lok Sabha elections, the election commission advised all the political party not to use children in election campaigns in any form whatsoever, including the distribution of posters and pamphlets, or to participate in slogan shouting, campaign rallies, and election meetings. Now, the commission said it was conveyed zero tolerance towards the use of children in any manner during the electoral process. Law Commission of India submits its report titled Revisiting the Law and Prevention of Damage to Public Property. So the Law Commission has submitted its 22nd. So it's a 22nd Law Commission and the submission of the report is 284 titled Revisiting the Law and Prevention of Damage to Public Property. The destruction of public property has continued undiminished causing gargantuan losses to the public exchequer and inconvenience to the general public. The commission also recommends that to tackle the issue of prolonged willful obstruction of public property, a separate law dealing with the same may be enacted or necessary amendment to be made in Bharti and Nyaya Sahita or the IPC for that effect. Dr. Bina Modi is the Outstanding Businesswoman of the Year 2023. Dr. Bina Bodhi, Chairman of Modi Enterprises, was honored with Outstanding Businesswoman of the Year 2023 Award by Rajnath Singh, Defense Minister of India. The award is presented to her at the prestigious conference by the Indo-American Chamber of Commerce on Strengthening Indo-US Relationship in Amritkal Atmanirbhar Bharat. Telangana to switch to TG as a new abbreviation replacing TS. So the Congress ruled Telangana is set to adopt its new abbreviation, that is TG, as replacing the early abbreviation as TS in a cabinet meeting which is headed by the Chief Minister Revant Reddy. The state will also adopt a new state anthem, Jai Jai Jai, Jai Ho Telangana. According to the decision, Telangana Tali, the symbolic mother goddess of the state, will also be launched in the new book. Global scientists convene Kathmandu for IPBES nexus assessment. 
over 130 leading scientists and subject experts from 70 countries have gathered in Nepal's capital, Kathmandu, for the third author meeting of IPBES Nexus Assessment, which will examine the interlinkages among the sustainable development goals related to food and water security, health for all, protecting biodiversity, and combating climate change. This is the first meet, first time meeting at IPBES assessment meeting has been held in South Asia. Now, let us move to the next national news bill to provide OBC quota in Jammu and Kashmir local bodies, which introduced in Lok Sabha. The center has introduced a bill in Lok Sabha to provide reservation to other backward classes in local bodies in Jammu and Kashmir. Currently, there is no provision for reservation of seats for OBCs in panchayats and municipalities and in union territory. Now, the aim of this particular bill is to uphold the principles of fairness and inclusivity in local governance, thereby addressing the long-standing disparities and ensuring justice for OBC citizens. Now, according to the Article 243K and Z of the Constitution, the superintendent's direction and control of the preparation of electoral rolls for conduct of all elections to panchayat and municipalities are vested in the State Election Commission. Yemen appoints Foreign Minister Ahmed Awad bin Mubarak as Prime Minister. Yemen's Foreign Minister Ahmed Awad bin Mubarak has been appointed as the country's new Prime Minister. He replaced Main Abi Abdul Malik Said, who was Yemen's Premier since 2018. Earlier in January, the US and the UK conducted air strikes on bases and command centers linked to Houthis. Mitchell O'Neill becomes Northern Ireland's first nationalist leader. In the historic moment, the Irish nationalist leader, Michel O'Neill, has become the first minister of Northern Ireland as power sharing resumes after a two-year gap. O'Neill has been eligible for the position since 2022, when Sinn Féin secured a majority in the May elections. Now, a House Speaker was also sworn in as Emma Little Pangali, a DUP nominated Deputy First Minister with the same power as the First Minister. So, it's appointment related news. Now, coming up to the space related news NASA discovers potentially habitable Super Earth 137 light years away. So, in a groundbreaking discovery, scientists at NASA have found a Super Earth, a planet that could potentially support life. This planet called TOI 715b is 137 light years away from us and is about one and a half times as wide as Earth. Its parent star, it revolves around its parent star in the conservative habitable zone, which could give the planet the right temperature for liquid water to form on its surface. Nangolo M. Gumba swan in as the Nambia's interim president, guys. Nangolo Mbumba has been sworn in the interim president of the South African country of Nambia. He was installed Sunday following the death of President Haig Jingob early in the day at hospital in Windhoek. The South West Africa People Organization or SWAPO has been in power in Nambia since its gained independence in 1990. Again, it's an appointment news. Russia cosmonaut set records for most time in space more than 878 days. So, Russian cosmonaut Alec Konovko on Sunday set a world record for total time spent in space, surpassing its compatriot uh, Gennady Padaka, who lodged more than 878 days in orbit. The 59 year old took the top spot from Pad Padalka, who accumulated a total of 878 days, 11 hours, 29 minutes, and 48 seconds. But after 1991 collapse of the Soviet Union, Russia's space program grappled with massive funding, shortages, and corruption. Now, Park gets a sports grandmaster after Mian Sultan Khan gave honorary title posthumously. Legendary chess player Myan Sultan Khan, widely known as the best Asian chess player of his generation, has been bestowed with the title of Honorary Grandmaster by FIDE President Arkady Divokovic. 
Born in 1902, Sultan Khan was a chess player from Mitha Tiwana in what is now Northeast Pakistan. He famously defeated former world champion Joe's role, Kapil Banka, besides renowned players like Frank Marshall and Sabli Tata Kova. Now, great Grammy Awards. So, 2024 Grammy Awards, Taylor Swift took Home Album of the Year at the 2024 Grammy Awards for her album Midnight's, giving her four wins in that category over her career, the most for an artist. Best Pop Solo Performance, Millie Cyrus for Flowers. And Record of the Year, again, Flowers, Millie Cyrus, Album of the Year, Midnight by Taylor Swift. Best New Artist, that is Victoria Monet. And uh, the Best Country Album, Lainley Wilson, Bell Bottom Country. Now, again, FIFA World Cup 2026 schedule, New Jersey awarded final of 48-team tournament. So, New Jersey's MetLife Stadium will host the biggest clash in the world football, the World Cup final, as organizers FIFA announced the match schedule for the 2026 edition of the Showpiece event. The final of the World Cup will be ended in New Jersey on July 19. And with 104 games, 48 teams settled to battle for the iconic trophy. Now, coming up to the Supreme Court updates, Chandigarh mayor election, obvious that presiding officer defaced uh, presiding officer defaced the ballot papers. This is the murder of democracy. Supreme Court has made a very big statement. Now, Supreme Court came down heavily on the presiding officer who conducted its, the Chandigarh mayor elections by orally saying it is obvious that he defaced the ballot papers. The CJ said that the court is appalled to see the behavior of the presiding officer while he's looking at the camera and running like a fugitive. Is this a way he conducts the election? This is a mockery of democracy. This is a murder of democracy. The man should be prosecuted. And is the, the statements are coming from the case Kuldeep Kumar versus UT of Chandigarh. Claimant entitled to interest on delayed return of the duty drawback. Now, Supreme Court has observed that if there is a delay in the refund of the duty drawback to the claimant under the Customs Act 1962, then the claimant would be entitled to interest in addition to the amount of the drawback at the rate of interest, which was fixed by the central government at the relevant point of time. Now, the case name is Union of India versus Messrs. B.T. Patel and Sons, Belgam Construction, Private Limited. Now, even if charge sheet is filed during pendency of petition to quash FIR, High Court can examine if offences are made out. Now, the Supreme Court has observed that if the charge sheet is filed against the accused during the pendency of the petition on for quashing the FIR, the High Court is not restrained from exercising its inherent jurisdiction and could still examine if offences alleged to have been committed were prima facie made out or not on the basis of FIR, charge sheet, and other documents. Now, the case name is Mamta Shilesh Chandra versus State of Uttarakhand and others. Now, hey guys, if you want to revise your previous TNA, do attend the quiz link that is mentioned in the description of this particular video. If you like this video, do share with your friends and family members. Do subscribe our channel. You know, it will certainly help us a lot to grow. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.